Okay. Hello. Wendy, uh, Brett Hamilton. Oh, hi. Uh, Chase asked me to call you. He's on the rampage and needs you at the studio right away. What? Now? Why? What's the matter? Well, it's some kind of catastrophe. Uh, he didn't give me the details, but he said he wants you there, and he wants you there on the double. What kind of catastrophe? Uh, look, Wendy, I've got to run. Uh, I can tell you that whatever it is, everyone is pretty flipped out about it. I'd get over here as fast as I could if I were you. Okay, okay. You tell him to keep his shirt on. I'll be right there. Will do. Okay, bye. the job you did cleaning it. It's not bad. Not bad? That thing was disgusting and now it's immaculate. I bet you couldn't do a better job. Yeah, well, it looks pretty good. It's spotless and you know it. I bet you don't know anyone who could do a better job. I don't hear anything. Guess what? You know that guy who rescued you from Candy Boy and Rollo? The one who was dressed like a bum? Turns out he is not a bum at all, but some kind of big wheel, a uh, rich tycoon. What about that? What some people won't do for kicks, huh? A guy with that kind of bread, slumming it down here in the docks pretending to be a bum? Talk about a weird sense of humor. Where did you hear all of that? Out on the street. Seems to be the topic of conversation. Um, could you pass me my t-shirt, please? Thanks. I mean, I don't know what gets into rich people sometimes, you know? There they are, in the lap of luxury, and they gotta go around pulling pranks like this, you know what I mean? Going around in disguises, pretending to be something that they're not. What for? I mean, what possible use could there be to pretend you're down and out when you've got it all? To me, pretending to be something that you're not is the same thing as lying. Uh, what do you think? Do you have my money? Why? Because I want to see if I have enough money to get a bus ticket. Where are you headed? South for the winter? I don't know. Cruisers bring the money. I'll give it to you as soon as he gets here. So what do you think about that guy pretending to be something that he's not? I mean, doesn't that take the cake? Deceiving people like that is the pits. Making them feel sorry for you when there's no reason to? I mean, why play the bum on the street when you're flush? What's the point? Guess you can never tell about people. No, I guess you can't. Unless they tell you the truth. Yeah. What is it with this job that you have to run to the studio at all hours? Well, I don't know, but it must be important or Chase wouldn't have insisted I come down there right away. Yeah, maybe he misses you as much as I no, do. No, very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, come on. You're not really jealous of Chase Kendall, are you? No, it's just, you know, how I feel about you having to work. Well, if you'd let me quit... No, you know, then everybody would get suspicious. <sighs> and if you don't show up down there, they're going to call out the National Guard looking for you. So, I mean, under the circumstances, there isn't much we can do. I know, I know. We have to make everything look as normal as possible. I hate leaving you. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. You know what? what? I'm not going to. Wendy, what are you doing? I... I'm just going to stay here with my husband where I belong. But what? You can't. You have to go. Honey, I was just being no. selfish. No, go no. on. My job description does not include Chase Kendall's beck and call every minute. I'm going to call him and tell no, him that I can't not. make it. No, you're not. Sweetheart, let's be adults about it. The sooner you go and do what you have to do, the sooner you'll be back. Come on. What are you going to do while I'm gone? Uh, make like a chef. 
Oh. Why don't I whip something up for us? How's that sound? Oh, it sounds wonderful. Yeah. Mm. You know what? What? I love you. I love you too. Mm. Hurry back. I will. Okay. Bye. you on and off whenever I wanted, Stephanie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wendy? Honey, it's Mother. Are you there? If you are... It's mother. That's perfect. Huh? Wendy? It's your mother. You remember your mother, the blonde lady who gave you life. Stephanie Wyatt. Stephanie Wyatt. This is perfect. Susie? Susie, you're gonna love this. Like she did everything else? What are you doing here? Are you crazy coming in that window? What did I tell you last Shut time? Shut up! I'm doing the talking this time. Oh, please, Hamilton, you've been watching too many old movies. Now, I want that videotape, and I want it now. Good for you! Now get out of here before I lose my temper. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. You're through giving me orders. Oh, is that so? And what makes you think that? I hold all the cards. A cassette and no more games. Let me tell you something. You can want that cassette all you want, but you're not going to get it until I'm through with you. Do you understand that? Now get out of here. And stick by the phone, because I'm going to have a job for you. This time use the front door, okay? You really should pay more attention. Ham what are you doing with that? Depends, doesn't it? On what? on whether you feel like cooperating or not. Shut the door. I said shut it! Don't even think about it. Oh, the only way you're going through that door is by being blown through it. You don't need that, Hamilton. Put it away. First, we set up some new ground rules. To begin with, you never tell me what to do again, you hear? Come to think of it, I never want to hear your voice again. All I want is the cassette. You're making a big mistake. Really? Yeah. How could you be so stupid climbing in that window? Somebody could have seen you. That's all we need is witnesses. People putting two and two together, being able to connect us. Are you through? For instance, Wendy doesn't know we know each other. So? So she's liable to come back in that door any second. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't count on that if I were you. She's on her way to the studio, remember, to see Chase? You were the one who made that phone call. <laughs> very, very good, Warren. You see, I learned at the hand of a master. Now, either you hand over that cassette, or when Wendy walks through that door, She'll be doing it as a widow. All right. Okay, just calm down. Right, if the cassette is what you want, then uh, that's exactly what you'll get. Where do you think you're going? Just over the fireplace. That's where I keep it. One thing first. If I hand this over to you, you can't go to the police. Agreed? No deals. Just the cassette. Really? Then what am I doing? 
You're not going to shoot me, Hamilton. You don't have what it takes. Now put the gun away and get out of here. I'm serious. Knock off the dramatics, Hamilton. I said... <laughs> as I possibly can. So long, Warren. I hope you get everything you deserve. I can't read anymore. I keep thinking how foolish it is to be sitting out here watching Brett's house. What is foolish about it? Brett's the only one who knows what's going on here. The police have stopped tailing him, so we have to. Honey, eventually he's going to lead us to the person behind all this. What if he doesn't come home? Or, or he's left town. Or even worse, what if the police see us? We're not doing anything illegal. Right? We're just parked on a public street having a picnic in our car. Oh, did you expect Lieutenant Bowman to buy that? It doesn't matter to me if he doesn't. Look, it's nothing illegal. Don't worry, Susie. And as far as Brett's concerned, unless he's planning to get a whole new wardrobe, he's got to come back. He must know what's going on. He has to. The look on his face at Bigelow's when I showed him the prints of those negatives proved it. You got me convinced. I hope I didn't make a mistake by showing him the pictures. I mean, I hope I didn't scare him into running away. Whoa, whoa, down, down. Hey, Hamilton. It's Hamilton. It's Hamilton. Look at him go. You ever seen anybody move so fast? Having problems? No, why should I? I don't know. I mean, our conversation about that tycoon posing as a bum seemed to rattle you. Did it? Hey, hey! Check this out, man. Can you believe it? It hardly needs any work, either. Fantastic. I mean, a little refinishing, a little sanding, ought to be about 20 bucks. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Clean as a whistle. Nice work. Yeah, I owe her a buck. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hey, hey, hold up. Where are you going? Out. I need some fresh air. And, um, I'll be checking out the price of the bus tickets. I think I told you. Right. Sounds more like goodbye to me and good riddance. That girl's got the big T tattooed on her forehead, man. It's a good thing she's not any older. One of these days, she's going to cause some dude some head banging. Yeah, well, I decided to let her stick around if she wants to. You what? Why? Oh, don't tell me. You're thinking about that reward. Okay, okay, but why put up with all the grief if you aren't? The girl is nothing but trouble, man. It's a gut instinct, Cruiser. I mean, too many things about her just don't add up. Yeah, you telling me. I mean, she runs away from home. A good home, too, not that bunk she was telling us about. She has this rich, 
father out on the street looking for her. I mean, he almost gets himself killed trying to save her. Lloyd Kendall. Sounds like an upright guy. I know, so why wouldn't she want him to find her? She hinted at abuse. I know, but it can't be this guy. I mean, it says in here that he's been looking for her for 13 years. She was kidnapped. Well, that's rough. Suppose that would make anybody a little paranoid about telling the truth. Yeah, it could be. But still, why wouldn't she tell us the truth? I mean, all we done is be friends with the girl. That's what I would like to find out. I mean, I know why I ran away from home. But, but why would she? I mean, between the family she's living with now and the real father she has, she has no reason to be running away. She's really scared of something. Besides, I can't kick her out. Yo, man. In the end, she's not your problem. And you keep reminding yourself that. Because whatever's going on with her, it just might be too much to handle. Hey, I don't want to handle her. I want to help her if I can. Besides, she does awesome work. Yeah. I love you so much. Sometimes I... I think this isn't real. It's like... we're playing house and we're the pretend family. I have never pretended to love you. My feelings for you are very deep and very real and nothing's going to change that. Then why don't you want to adopt me? Why? Don't you want me to be your real daughter forever and ever? Come here. Sit next to me. Come on. We've been over this many times. Your real mother and daddy may be out there somewhere, hoping and praying. Hold. Yes. What do you mean 20 minutes? I've already been waiting for 10 minutes. No, no, I don't I don't want to wait any longer. I need the cab right now. Oh, you're sorry. Yeah, fine. Do you believe it? All the way there in rush hour, there's nobody there. I get there, no chase, no emergency, nothing. The place looks like an elephant's graveyard. I can't believe it. I went all the way down there for nothing. Where are you going? Let me have the keys to the car. Is there gas in there? Warren, why do you need my car? Uh, I, I don't have time to explain. Give me the keys. Why? Where are you going? Wendy, just give me the keys. Warren, no. Talk, tell me where I you're going. I don't have time to tell you right now. No, come on. Let you're upset. You're upset. Honey, and you can't drive when you're upset. Let go. No. No. What? No. What? What? Warren. I c Warren, cut myself why did you shaving. Do it I, I have to go. Warren, no. Please Wendy. tell me what it is. Where do you think you're going? Get out of my way. I asked you a question, Hamilton. Well, if you know what's good for you, you'll leave me alone. Why? Right? So you can leave town? Not a chance. What I do with my life is no one's business but my own. Not anymore, it isn't. Now that you've got Susie charged with attempted murder. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to the police, Hamilton. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 